part two of uh, section 911. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to take this inhomogeneous wave equation for the V potential and using the retarded potential that we've described show that it actually works. Okay, This is a little bit different than the Lorentz potential. This has, uh, instead of t, we're using the retarded time, which is just the time minus the distance from the point we're interested in divided by the speed of light. Okay, so we're just going to plug and chug and show that uh, this satisfies this equation. So first let's calculate what the um, Laplacian of this V is. So uh, Laplacian of the V is just the, the divergence of the gradient of this guy. Um, so that's going to be um, the divergence of the gradient of 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, the integral of rho over r d tau. Okay, so applying that we get the divergence of 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, I could have brought that out, the integral of the um, gradient of rho over r d tau. So this is going to look like a mess, but follow along. And if you have the time, um, there's a problem that, to do the A field that, that works out to be somewhat similar. 1 over 4 pi epsilon I times the gradient of the, well, the integral. We can bring this inside the integral of the gradient, the divergence of the gradient of rho over r d tau. Okay, so what's the gradient? of rho over r. So the gradient of rho over r is equal to the... See, I've been working on this so long, I just want to make sure I get this right. So the gradient of two things. So it's the gradient of rho times 1 over r plus rho times the gradient of 1 over r, which isn't surprising. Um, the gradient of 1 over r we showed in problem 113 back in the beginning of the book we showed that this is equal to uh, negative r hat over r squared. Whereas the gradient of rho is a little bit more complicated to calculate. So in order to do that, we have to first realize that there is a time dependence, um, this tr that you plug into the t. So we have to take d rho by dt and then take the, the gradient basically of this tr. Well, what's that? Well, there's no gradient in t, but there is a gradient in minus r over c, so we have a minus 1 over c, and then we have the gradient of r. What's the gradient of r? That's just r hat. Okay? So that's the gradient of all that stuff. Now we plug this into the divergence. Integral of the divergence of, we have d rho by dt, oh, minus 1 over c, let's put that in the front in the r-hat direction, and then we have minus rho r-hat over r-squared d tau, okay? So let's do this, let's do this, the divergence of this term first. So we have the divergence of that term, we have the divergence of, well minus 1 over c can come out of it, minus 1 over c can come out, but we're going to have the divergence of the time derivative of the rho times r hat, well that's going to be equal to, this is a scalar component, that's a vector component, so it's just equal to minus 1 over c times uh, the scalar component times the divergence of the vector component. All of a sudden I don't like this. Um, I'm missing over r. Over r over r. Yes, that's right. Okay, and then we're going to add in the gradient of the scalar part dot the vector part. Okay, so plug and chug a little bit here. So we have minus 1 over c d rho by dt and then the divergence of r hat over r is just 1 over r squared and then we have minus 1 over c. And this is going to work out pretty much like we did up here. So we're going to end up with minus 1 over c times d rho, d squared rho by dt squared. And then we have an r hat, 
we're going to dot that with r hat over r. So we're going to get this term minus 1 over c, d rho by dt, 1 over r squared, plus 1 over c squared. And we have the second time derivative of rho, and we have 1 over r. Okay. So that's this first term. Let's take the second term now. So we have the divergence of minus rho r hat over r squared. That's going to be equal to minus rho times the divergence of r hat over r squared minus the gradient of rho dotted with r hat over r squared. Okay, um, this is where we get the Dirac delta function in three dimensions from. So this is equal to um, uh, minus 4 pi rho cube delta of the r vector. Okay, yes, that's correct. And this um, should look a little bit familiar. So we have minus, minus 1 over c, d rho by dt in the r-hat direction, dot with r-hat over r-squared. And so this will actually give you this term right here. So this term and this term, this is minus, this is positive, they end up canceling each other out. So all that we're left with is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, the integral of this term right here, so 1 over c squared, uh, d squared rho over d t squared, uh, 1 over r, and we subtract 4 pi rho uh, Dirac delta cubed of the r, hat, r vector d tau. Okay, um, so the, the Laplacian of this v gives us this, and if you look, if you squint at it kind of hard, you'll see this. This term is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, uh, the integral of 1 over c squared times um, well, let's move the 1 over c squared out. So we have 1 over c squared over here times d squared over dt squared of rho over r. r has no time dependence, so it doesn't matter if it's on the inside or the outside. Minus the 4 pi's cancel out, we get 1 over epsilon naught rho. Okay? Because remember how the Dirac delta function works inside of an integral. It picks out that one value. Okay? So it picks out rho at r vector, rho at r vector, okay? Um, this d squared by dt squared can come out, and so what we're actually, this is d tau, there's no integral over here. This is actually 1 over c squared of v, or the second time derivative of v. Handwriting, sorry about that. Let me write that out again. This is actually 1 over c squared, the second time derivative of v, minus 1 over epsilon naught of rho, which is exactly what it should equal to. So we proved that this function satisfies our conditions up here. One more time. This function satisfies our condition up here. Um, there's not much more to say on this. Next we are going to look at an example and then we are done. So Stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.